Hello everybody, it's Fufu here and welcome back for another experiment video. We are going to be considering the cute little sea cucumber Pokemon, Pukumuku. I love this Pokemon, I think its design is great. It doesn't get any attacking moves, but it's got so much else going for it, it really doesn't need them. Um, yeah, it's a really cool Pokemon, very defensive, but it's got a signature ability in, in its out. Very cool. What it means is, when it's attacked and it loses all of its HP, the amount of HP that it lost in that turn due to that attack will be done to the opponent. That same amount of damage will be done to the opponent. So that is a pretty cool ability. Um, and I'm going to test what can prevent that ability today. So what we're going to be doing is seeing whether Magic Guard and whether Mold Breaker can prevent the damage from innards out. So obviously Magic Guard is an ability that prevents any damage outside of damage from direct attacks. So if you're poisoned, you won't get damaged that way or like sandstorm damage, anything like that. So innards out probably doesn't count as a direct attack, but will it still hurt the Magic Guard Pokemon? That's an interesting question. And then the other thing we're going to be testing is whether Mold Breaker, which ignores abilities, will ignore the ability of Innards Out when it attacks. So that will be an interesting one to find out too. Now first up, I've got my Magic Guard Reuniclus. It's got the choice specs and it's going to go for an Energy Ball. This is definitely going to do a lot of damage to Pukumuku. So we will see whether Energy Ball is enough to take it out and whether Innards Out will do the damage to Reuniclus. So it just Okos. That's a ton of damage. Innards Out activates but it doesn't look like it did any damage to Reuniclus. That's interesting. So it did activate, but Reuniclus is immune to that damage. That's really interesting how that worked. I thought that it might just not show, but Pukumuku does activate its ability there. That's cool. Okay, so the next test, I've got a Mega Gyarados, which when Mega Evolved, it gets the Mold Breaker ability. And uh, what that means is that it potentially will ignore the abilities of the things it attacks. So will it ignore in a doubt? Now this Gyarados only has Earthquake, which is potentially not going to do that much damage to this Pukumuku. So I think I'll speed this bit up until I'm about to KO this Pukumuku. So uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we are at the point Pukumuku is just poisoned by Gyarados with a really cool attack animation. I love Pukumuku's attack animation. Uh, but what we're going to see now is whether Earthquake will prevent Innards Out from working because it's coming from a Mold Breaker Pokemon. And I am going to go for just another taunt here for no reason. We just need to see if uh, Innards Out activates. So here's the Earthquake. Will Innards Out activate or will Mold Breaker prevent it from working? Let's see. So it's definitely fainted. And there's the innards out. It does activate. So despite Mold Breaker, innards out activates. I think that makes sense because Mold Breaker generally ignores uh, abilities that prevent damage or prevent the effects of your moves. Whereas it's not really preventing Earthquake from working. It's actually just dealing extra damage on top. So that kind of makes sense. I appreciate Pukumuku's commitment to spit out its guts all over the opponent. Because in both cases, innards out did activate. It's just that Reuniclus was immune to the damage. So that's a really interesting experiment. I don't think you can prevent Innards Out from working unless you take out Pukumuku from an indirect damaging thing like poisoning it or burning it or weather damage or over time damage like fire spin getting trapped in that. But if you take it out with a direct attack, you can expect Innards Out to activate and potentially do some damage. So that's pretty cool. I, I, I quite like the ability. You can really threaten opponents' electric types. If they want to use a powerful electric type move and you switch into your Pukumuku and it completely okos Pukumuku, you'll do a ton to their electric type. So that's pretty cool. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Please let me know what you thought of this experiment, whether you like Pukumuku or not, and also any comments for future videos, if you've got any ideas for further experiments. That's going to be all for today. I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.